Hi everybody, happy Saturday. I hope you guys are doing well. Excuse me, I'm putting my oils on. I was, um, I just posted on Instagram that I'm so nervous to talk to you guys about this. This is silly. So I don't normally go live on my YouTube channel. Normally I go live on my Facebook page. I'm gonna scoot you guys up here real quick just so you guys can see me. Okay, all right, so today I'm just gonna chat about essential oils. So um, a lot of you guys have said that you don't have Facebook and so you wanted me to do a live class or chat or whatever um, on my YouTube channel and I am super duper happy to do so. So if you guys have any questions or anything, um, you know, I think if you comment, I can see it, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I've only gone live from my phone like once now, <laughs> so I don't know. So if somebody can give me a comment, that would be amazing so I can see uh, if I can actually see them because I don't know where I'd actually see them at. I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing. So anyway, I'm just gonna talk to you guys and <laughs> We're gonna go from there. Um, so essential oils, it's no secret at all, right, that I use them on my <laughs> self and my family every single day, pretty much. Um, we've been using essential oils for, I guess if you're just looking broad picture at essential oils as a whole, I've been using them since probably somewhere around 2000 and, 11 maybe or so um but really seriously oh good hi christina thank you for commenting that is super helpful because <laughs> i can see that right here this is cool um so i have been good morning kimmy um been using oils for forever right <laughs> i love that your name is kimmy that's so fun kim i love that um so essential oils what are they like you see these bottles right popping up at every store imaginable pretty much um all over the place and um essential oils are basically like the um the thing that makes a plant smell good so if you smell a rose or if you have herbs in your kitchen like maybe you pinch a leaf of basil and you can smell that basil smell that's the essential oil that you're smelling. And it is um, the thing that gives the plant life or it helps to um, keep pests away from plants or if maybe a leaf gets cut, it's what repairs the edge of that leaf. Like it's like the plant's blood pretty much. And so the essential oil has a lot of what's called constituents. And these are the things like limonene and other things. Hi, thank you for coming. Um, that are... Um, they're pretty amazing because they work with our bodies in really, really cool ways. And so these constituents are what makes the essential oils work. It's what makes these like, let's say I have the need for stress away, which I kind of do because I'm just slightly nervous about talking to you guys live, which is silly. Hashtag introvert. Um, so stress away. Stress away has constituents in it that help to relieve stress. How about that? So I'm going to put that on. I'm going to bathe in that for the time being <laughs> while I talk to you guys. So it's all about the properties of the essential oil and how they work well with your body to do some really cool stuff. And not all essential oils smell good. So that's just something to keep in mind. Um, good essential oils are not perfume. And that's something that's hard for a lot of us to get like in our minds too because we think of essential oils just being there to make our house smell good or just to scent candles or to scent other things um and yeah you're super welcome I, black snowball you're welcome <laughs> um so the essential oils really good ones some of them might smell really stinky um for me I do not like the smell of valerian. To me, valerian smells super duper stinky, but I will use it um, in certain combinations of other essential oils to kind of mask the smell. And um, because I know that it's going to help my body fall asleep at night. So you see what I mean? So there are um, really good apps available and I would show you on my phone, but I'm filming on my phone, so I can't really show you. But there's a really good app that I recommend for everybody to get and it's called the Ref Guide, R-E-F Guide, G-U-I-D-E, -E, for, number four, E-O. And it's published by Abundant Health. And everything that I talk about with how to use essential oils, it's in that app. And because I've been using essential oils for four years now, I kind of just know <laughs> how to use them. But for somebody new that's starting out and essential oils are like super overwhelming for somebody, that app is great because it's a great reference. You can just look up whatever's going on at 4 a.m. that you need some help with, right? You look it up and it'll tell you what essential oils to try out because why not? We might as well try essential oils. 
All right, so let's dig in to these essential oils, and I'm going to interject some things as I go along. Um, if you put it on your watch list, it's often offered for free. Wow, nice. Okay, yeah, the Ref Guide app is $6.99 in the App Store in the U.S. In Canada, it's around $9. Um, I think it's available internationally too, um, but that's good to know. I paid $6.99 for the app, and I was super duper excited that I did because <laughs> I use it all the time. I use it all, like literally all the time. All right, so first I wanna talk about how I support my body's immune system. Ooh, the FedEx guy's here, so you're gonna hear a little bing bong on my door. <laughs> Ignore the doorbell that you're gonna hear in like 30 seconds. Um, so for me, um, when I first got into using essential oils, I wanted something to help my immune system. Um, when I was getting into them, I was working at a college, and I was working in the admission office at a college, and I had a lot of students, college students, working for me. And we had a lot of visiting families coming in too. I was the event coordinator um, for all the prospect families that would come to the college. And so I was around people all the time. I was around sick college kids all the time. And I was catching everything that all of these families were bringing in and like breathing on me and all that stuff. Um, so I really wanted something to help with my immune system. So the thing that I found out about is called Thieves. Is this gonna be backwards for you guys? Uh, yeah, it is. Okay, sorry. So this is backwards. I apologize. Um, Thieves has a weird, weird name, all right? So what? Why would you name an essential oil thieves? So here's the story behind the whole thieves blend. And I've told this on my YouTube channel, but I'm going to tell you guys again anyway. Um, so this goes back to the time of the plague in Europe, 1300s, 1400s. There were these guys going around robbing the people that were dead and dying from the plague. Oh, good. I'm glad it's not backwards for you. That's helpful for me to know. Thank you. Um, and so these guys were going around robbing these people who had the plague, but they themselves weren't contracting it. And it turns out that these guys were caught and they were taken to the king. And the king offered to grant them leniency if they would disclose to the king how they did not contract the plague. So these guys, legend has it, were spice merchants and they were wearing these medical cone beak mask things and they were robbing the insides of these masks with clove and cinnamon and rosemary, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera the oils that are in the thieves blend. So that's where the thieves name came from. So thieves, this I've talked about in my favorites videos. I've talked about when I, um, in my like, what's in my Disney park bag videos. I always have thieves with me. It is like my immune system lifesaver. Um, I will not travel without thieves. I will not go to the grocery store without thieves on my body somewhere. Um, thieves, I generally put this oil blend on the bottoms of my feet and I rub my feet together kind of like a grasshopper. And um, it, it, it really does help to support your immune system for all things immune system. Bonus with Thieves, it's great to use in a diffuser. Now a diffuser is like this little thing right here. It's a little machine that you fill with water and you put in a few drops of essential oil. When you're first getting started with essential oils, I recommend like one or two drops. And then as your system gets used to them, then you can just add, you know, maybe up to three, three, five, eight drops, depending on how big your room is and all that. Um, I generally do maybe three drops of Thieves and I do this when I teach my music lessons. So a lot of you guys know that I am also a music teacher and musician. I play the flute. And so I have students that come to the house three times a week for their music lessons. And every time I'm teaching music lessons, I have my thieves in the diffuser going. Um, yes, Melissa, definitely you wanna start small for sure till your body gets used to it. Um, so with the Thieves blend, it smells like Christmas. It smells super good. Clove, lemon, it's just delicious. I love it, cinnamon. And so my kids come in and they're like, oh my gosh, it smells so good in here. Little do they know that I am supporting all of our immune systems, <laughs> like hugging my diffuser when they're in there blowing on me with their flute. Um, so anyway, Thieves, all things immune system, and this is what got me hooked on um, the essential oil brand that I use, which is called Young Living. So Thieves hands down my absolute fave. Janet, you're so right. Absolutely, well you do. If you use Thieves, I mean, it, it really does help support your immune system. Um, I love purification too, Diane, absolutely. Yes, I totally do. I actually used it this morning. Um, 
Yeah, I think I can probably tell you guys about this. I have to be as compliant as possible um, when I'm talking to you guys, but I know I have people from all over the world, so I'm going to be as compliant as I can be in multiple different countries, <laughs> which is kind of difficult. Um, so for my friends in Canada, if I have any Canadians watching, which I always have Canadians watching, Thieves is an approved natural health product, or NHP. And so in Canada, Thieves is um, an essential oil blend that helps to uh, reduce symptoms of cough and cold. So it's really good to have at Disney, right? So it's great for your immune system. However, it's also good for symptoms of cough and cold if you're in Canada. Um, if you're below that invisible invisible border, though, let me tell you, Jumbo Mike, Mike's heard this entire thing all before. <laughs> so if you have thieves anywhere near you, it is good to put on your feet at times of crowds. And Mike's in Canada. Mike, I can tell you, cough and cold, man. Thieves essential oil. He's heard all this before. <laughs> so yes, you have. Um, all right, so we're going on. I want to talk a little bit about um, sleep. Sleep is something that a lot of people have some difficulty with. Um, we all need sleep support, whether we have kids or if we're just large kids um, that have difficulty sleeping. A lot of sleep support oils. So I use lavender for my sleep support. I will put this in my diffuser. We're in my bedroom right now. And so this diffuser behind me, I don't know if you can see, the light is blue, like it's on right now. Um, I have I always have it on, it's like on all the time. Um, but when I um, diffuse at night, if you hit that little button on that diffuser, it completely turns the light off, which is really, really good. So I will put lavender in my diffuser when I go to bed. Um, I'll also sometimes do stress away uh, before I go to bed. And these two are like my super duper bedtime supporters. Lavender, I like the smell of. And so I'll put it on my neck, I'll put it on my chest or like on my pillow just so I can smell it too. But the cool thing about lavender is that this is called an adaptogen. And an adaptogen means that it helps you adapt to your stressors. So your stressors don't stress you out anymore. Does that make sense? I need like a flow chart. <laughs> so this is a really good one to have. If you have anybody that gets stressed out during the day and they are just having a difficult time coping with that, so lavender is a really good one. Yes, absolutely. Lavender and cedarwood. We love that too. I have cedarwood behind me too. Um, cedarwood to me smells like blueberries. My husband thinks it smells like a barn. So it's just funny how our noses are all different. But lavender and cedarwood, great combination. Lavender and stress away, another good combination um, for sleep. So with lavender, I just try to get it on me and I get it in my diffuser and that helps me fall asleep. Stress Away is good for anything um, heart rate related. So it helps to normalize your heart rate, which is a good thing before bed because it helps you wind down a little bit. It's a really good thing to have. Um, I use Stress Away whenever I'm feeling stressed. Oh, yay! Hi, Smarty and Stevo. I'm glad you caught me too. We have more Canadians here. This is good. <laughs> I can talk freely. Um, so for our Canadians out there, Lavender, NHP, natural health product. Approved for many, many things. I know, this is like Canada Day, this is great. Um, so anyway, back to stress away. I get like distracted. I'm gonna have to get my distraction oil out here in a second. Um, so stress away, my perfume of choice, I like just the smell of it. This smells like um, lime and vanilla kind of smells like, people will say a margarita. I don't drink, so I don't know what a margarita actually smells like. Um, we'll just go with that. I think it smells like vacation in a bottle and it smells super duper good. And so I'll just put it on as a perfume, but I'll put it on anytime I'm feeling stressed out. So um, I was saying earlier before I got started, and I posted this on Instagram too, I was super nervous before getting on live and talking to you guys, which is silly because it's like, come on, come on. You know, it's like, whatever. You guys, we're all friends here, right? <laughs> So anyway, stress away is great in times of stress, also great to wind down before bed. All right, so we've got immune supporter with Eves, right? We've got stress and sleep with stress away and lavender, and I need a focus oil. So I'm gonna pull out my frankincense. Now, frankincense is really great because it is um, also really good for your skin. I use this before I go to sleep at night. Um, what I do is I wash off my makeup. Aw, thank you, Em. 
Thank you. Um, yes, so frankincense is um, historically used for preservation and embalming. Um, hi, Charlene. Um, back in like Egypt. This is like, I swear, Canada. Uh, Canada is here. I have more Canadians watching than the US. <laughs> this is awesome. I love that. I love Canada. I, we just got back from there a couple months ago. Um, so anyway, frankincense. Historically used for preservation and embalming, which is really good for your skin, fine lines and wrinkles, age-related signs of aging. <laughs> Occasional, you know, dark spots, wrinkles, crow's feet, all that kind of stuff. Um, I use one drop of frankincense literally before, um, um, right after I wash my face, and then I put it on, and um, I just need one drop, that's it. And it covers my entire face. And I put it down my neck too, because this is like where it shows signs of aging, right? And so this is a uh, great frankincense. Now this frankincense that Young Living has is from, this particular one is from Somalia. Um, the original sacred frankincense is from um, Oman. We have a partner farm in Oman that they get the, um, sacred frankincense from but this is just regular frankincense it smells good um, and it's good for focus so I'm just gonna sit here and huff it for a second so I can focus and talk to you guys <laughs> it's awesome um, frankincense is also really good too um, for meditation it smells very old to me like what I would think ancient smells like mark um, who was it that I was talking to it was mark um, oh for heaven's sakes I can't remember who it was well anyway that won't matter because he's not watching right now. Um, but this just smells like super like Catholic church, maybe like that incense that um, they use when they go down the aisles. You know, I'm not Catholic, but I've been to enough Catholic services to like smell that. Um, it just, I don't know. It's just such a grounding um, focus essential oil. And this actually to this day in certain parts of the world is prized more than gold because they get it they understand how much this frankincense is used for. Um, I use it all the time. I'm just gonna sit here and smell for a second. Excuse me. Um, really good for meditation and yoga too, if any of you guys do that. Um, good for prayer time as well, if that's something that you guys are into. Um, yeah, I love it. I just think it smells like old. And actually, for my Disney people, Disney people, um, frankincense, there is some sort of an incense smell in Spaceship Earth that is where they talk about the, um, like all the ancient texts and stuff. You got the guys like sitting on the, the floor <laughs> next to the ride vehicle. Um, you know what? You do not necessarily need a carrier oil um, when you use frankincense unless your skin reacts to it. I use a carrier oil when I use this on my face during the winter only because my skin is dry, um, not because my skin reacts like poorly to the frankincense or anything. Um, I, I only use that if I need extra moisture on my skin. But normally I just put one drop on and that's it. So I don't know. Can you see any wrinkles? Do I have any wrinkles yet? I am of the age of having wrinkles, but <laughs> I don't know if you can see any at this point. I've got a really good makeup on, so maybe you can't see. I can't see. I don't have my glasses on when I talk to you guys um, because I would have a glare. There's a window behind you, and so you would not be able to see my eyeballs if I had my glasses on. So I actually can't even really see what I'm talking about right now, which is why I don't have my notes in front of me, which is why I'm a little squirrely. So <laughs> there's that. Um, all right, so I want to talk about two digestion supporters because um, digestion has uh, been a topic in this house for a very long time. Um, I had for years, a really long time, uh, IBS types of symptoms, and um, those have since subsided, um, mostly because of two things, essential oils, right, and a diet switch. And I've talked about this on my channel a little bit. I eat paleo now, my husband eats paleo autoimmune protocol, and um, that diet switch and incorporating good essential oils in, oh my gosh, it's like night and day, really, really good. So peppermint, I wanna start with this one. Peppermint is like as fresh of an oil as you can possibly get. And if you have a digestive system that needs, um, let's see, how do I say this? Calming down, maybe your digestion transit speed is a little too fast and you want it to chill out a little bit, peppermint is the perfect one to reach for. So you can put a drop right on your belly, on the front of your shins, that's a reflex point for your digestive system, and it, it, it 
within 20 minutes, it really, really helps a lot, a whole lot. Really good. Um, in addition to that, you can take peppermint internally here in the US. Um, in some countries, it is good in hot cocoa. You are absolutely right. Um, I like to put it on, I get a Hail Mary little chocolate macaroons and I will take, hold on, let me grab my Vitality version. I will take a drop of the peppermint Vitality, here it is, um, and like with like a toothpick and I'll just like rub it on my little Hail Mary chocolate macaroons. Oh, it's so good. All right, so you guys can see, Canadians avert your ears right now. <laughs> um, so in the US, we have two different packagings of peppermint and, and probably about 20 or 30 other oils. So the green packaging or the colorful packaging, this essential oil is labeled for topical slash aromatic use. And the white packaging is labeled for internal or dietary supplement use. This, the oil inside here is the exact same oil. There's no difference between the two. It's all the same. Um, the reason that there's two different labelings is here in the US, a cosmetic, which I hate that, um, that a topical slash aromatic essential oil is, cannot also be labeled as a dietary supplement. So they have to have two different packagings. However, the oil in the bottles is the exact same oil, same testing, same quality, same everything, okay? So it's just legal regulations why there's two different packagings now. So there you go. The more you know, the more you know, right? Um, so this one I use topically and in my diffuser. This one I use internally and in like mix it into recipes and things like that. So there we go. Um, if you want to support your digestive system internally, using the peppermint vitality is really, really good. My husband's uh, GI doctor actually recommends this um, to put a drop of peppermint in a little vegetable capsule or a gelatin capsule. And if you want, you can fill the rest up with like olive oil or coconut oil or something and then swallow that down and that can help uh, soothe your digestive tract internally if you don't want to do the topical version. So there we have it. Um, the next one, uh, this was the other one that got me hooked on Young Living in addition to Thieves. Um, this is Digize and there is a Digize Vitality version of this too. There's also a Thieves Vitality version as well. There we go. All right, so again, same oil in the bottle. There's no difference. This one's labeled as topical aromatic. This one's labeled as internal or dietary supplement. So for Digize, if you have a digestive system that's on the other end of the spectrum that you need help moving things along, Digize is great topically on your belly or the front of your shins. That's that digestion reflex point and it can help get things moving. Great travel companion. If your digestive system speed tends to slow down when you travel, this is a really good one to have with you. Um, you can take Digize internally with the Digize Vitality version if you're in the US. So you could, it doesn't taste good. Um, this one doesn't smell good, all right? So this is just something to keep in mind, right? Essential oils, they're not perfume, they don't all smell good. So with Digize Vitality, you can take a drop in a veggie capsule, like I was saying with peppermint, and fill the rest up with olive oil or coconut oil or whatever, and swallow that down. And that can also help soothe your digestive tract as well as help get things processing and moving in the way that it should be. So a great companion, also really good after Thanksgiving. Gotta have those. I love my digestion oils. Uh, all of them that I just talked about go down to Disney World with me, for all of you Disney folks, if you cared. I don't know if you care. <laughs> Hopefully you do. I'm not sure. All right. So another one that I've been liking, somebody mentioned before, is purification. Now purification, this one I actually used earlier today uh, to support my skin is what I used it for with some lavender. Purification is actually technically the anti-stink oil. So if you have stink in your house anywhere, <laughs> purification is really, really good. Pop it in your diffuser. Um, you can take uh, just a drop or two of this, put it on a cotton ball, and then suck it up in your vacuum. And as you go around vacuuming the house, the air that kind of circulates through your vacuum and then is filtered and then comes out, you know, it's like a built in air freshener. So it's like two birds with one stone as you vacuum. Really, really good. Love doing that. It makes vacuuming more fun too. I don't like love vacuuming, but. I'll do it when I have purification in there. Um, another really good thing is good for stinky shoes, uh, stinky feet. If you have anybody in your house that has stinky feet, you can just put a drop on the bottom of your feet. Natural deodorizer, delightful. 
Can you tell us which oils are in these blends for those of us not familiar with Young Living? Absolutely, sure, sure. Um, so all of the ones that I talked about with the exception, well, sure. Yeah, so in purification, there is citronella and lemongrass. Let me see. We've got citronella, rosemary, lemongrass, tea tree, lavender, and myrtle. Uh, yes, pet beds, really good. Uh, it helps to deodorize your carpet too. If you have pets, it's a great one to sprinkle in with some baking soda, let it sit, kind of scrub it into your carpet and then vacuum that up. And uh, yeah, purification is just good for stink. But it's also good because of that citronella and lemongrass. If you put it on the bottom of your feet, the cool thing about essential oils is that it will, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Yes, we got to stay compliant, y'all. Got to stay compliant. I know. Um, but for some of our Canadians, you can say more things. So anyway, we'll just go with it. So with purification, if you put some on the bottom of your feet, you can go outside. And if you get my drift, you can enjoy your summer evening walks annoyance free. Hmm? Any idea <laughs> what I'm talking about? Yes. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mike purification I'm telling you it's really really good it is fantastic we use it in our house all the time mostly in the diffuser mostly after I cook sardines that's normally when we use it but I like to use it when I vacuum too because it does it freshens up the house and you never know now here's the thing so I use this after my music lessons and it's not because my kids have like body odor or anything like that. Is this weird? This is kind of weird, but anyway, I'm gonna tell you. Um, it's because I have kids that come in with so much perfume and so much like um, fabric softener, cooking bacon, absolutely. If you need to clear the air at all, purification, I'm telling you. My kids, they think they smell nice because they have so much perfume on them and I think their little adolescent noses can't tell the difference of how much stuff they're putting on themselves. But when they leave my house, I have this like green cloud of smell <laughs> in my front room. And it's mostly like fabric softener and perfumes and things like that that are synthetic that I can't handle anymore. So I always open up my windows and I put purification in my diffuser. <laughs> my kids lessons my husband will be he'll come out and Mike's met him he'll come out and be like oh what is that smell <laughs> and it's you know it's always the same kids too like he can just tell when my certain students have been in my presence <laughs> and I have to open up the windows and put purification OMG that was a tangent okay so um, outside of that I'm gonna talk about another one that Canadians in particularly love because it's a natural health product approved by Health Canada. This is RC. And RC, if you have lungs, you got to have RC. So RC is approved in Canada to help improve symptoms of cough and cold. So you can just put some on your chest, smell it from your hand, smell it from the bottle, um, put it in your diffuser, whatever you want to do to just get it on you or smelling. And it helps to improve symptoms of cough and cold. Same thing with peppermint. Peppermint is also a natural health product that helps to improve respiratory cough and cold types of symptoms in Canada. If you're south of the border, ignore what I just said. <laughs> anyway, so RC, good for you have lungs. It'll smell very similar to um, those chest rubs that your mom may have used on you as a child. It's a combination of myrtle, marjoram, uh, pine, eucalyptus, lavender, cypress, blues, no, black spruce, and peppermint. So it's very fresh. It's like a spa oil. Um, I it, it literally like smells like when you go for a massage and it just smells like super duper uplifting and fresh and wonderful. Eucalyptus is probably what you're smelling and that's what I smell heavily in RC. So great for this change of season time that we are upon. Now here, I'm in central Ohio and here in Ohio today, it feels like October. It gets like, in, it's, I don't even know if it's 60 outside. <laughs> It's like feels like fall so I'm already craving all of my like fall types of scents and RC is that for me because of that whole change of season stuff really good all right so I'm just kind of like looking through my little baggie of oils here and seeing if there's anything else I want to talk about yeah um all right so in our house we've been uh really trying to train for disney we're going to disney in the fall and we have been walking a lot to just get our feet and our legs and everything prepared for walking eight to ten miles as you do at disney world and so i have been loving 
Panaway. Now, Panaway is everything muscle and joint support. So um, great after you work out. I like to actually take a drop of Panaway and put a, a maybe like, I don't know, two or three drops of carrier oil, which is like olive oil, jojoba oil, coconut oil, any kind of fatty vegetable oil. Um, I'll put a drop of Panaway in my hand with that, rub it together, and just rub it on my legs because hashtag leg day and you can't sit or stand or whatever. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, yes. So Panaway is good for all things muscle and joint support. And I believe Panaway is approved by Health Canada for strains, sprains, and arthritis support as well for my Canadians out there. So pan away, all things muscles and joints. That goes down to Disney uh, with us as well. We massage it on our feet at the end of the long day. Oh, I should tell you, I should tell you what is in pan away. Um, pan away is winter green, which is why it has this little cap on it. I'll show you that in a second. Helichrysum, clove, and peppermint. So you can see it has like a child, I don't know if you can see, a childproof cap so you have to like press down and turn it. Most of the Canadian oils have this on there anyway. Um, here in the US, this is the only one generally, there's a couple others that have childproof caps on them. Wintergreen is one of them. Um, and that's because kids really like the taste of wintergreen. And um, if they get it, they'll just like kind of like drink the whole bottle and you do not want to have your kids drinking a whole bunch of essential oils okay you just don't so that's why they have the childproof cap on here to keep kids from you know enjoying this a little too much so there we go that's why that's on there so you guys know about that um let me see is there anything else i want to talk about yeah i'll mention this one so uh copa Yiba has a weird name this is from brazil from the copaiba tree and it's good things for all things inflammation support um any of you guys who um are supporting your immune systems slash inflammation levels and i can't say why <laughs> um copaiba is great pan pan p-a-n p-a-n it used to be called pain away but um the fda didn't like that so they took the eye out so it's pan away P-A-N-A-W-A-Y instead of pain away. It used to be called pain away. So I may have just slipped and called it pain away. But here in the US, I can't say that word. But for my Canadians, I can say pain. So pain, pain, pain. <laughs> anyway, Copa Yuba. Copa Yuba is from the Copa Yuba tree. To me, it smells like vanilla and dirt. It is good for all things inflammation support. So if you, um, we all have levels of inflammation in our systems, just naturally, they're all just there. And so to maintain a good natural level, healthy level of um, inflammation, Copaiba is really, really good for that. This I um, and my husband use pretty much every single day. Just get it on, we just put it on and it's just really, really good. Also good for skin um, support as well. And um, mood uplifter too, if you are have any gloomy gusses in your house, smelling Copaiba helps to uplift your spirits. So yeah, yeah. I think that's pretty much all I really want to talk about as far as like the oils I use all the time. I'll do one more. Uh, lemon. Lemon is uh, good for all things immune system as well as, um, you know, it's good for digestive system too, but it's also good for your excretory system, uh, lymphatic system. So if you need uh, support in getting lymph drainage, mm, lymph movement going. <laughs> lemon is really good for that. There's two versions of lemon. We've got our topical slash aromatic version of lemon that you can plop in your diffuser. You're welcome. Um, or we've got our dietary supplement version. So this is what I put in my Ninja Red. I talked about Ninja Red in my favorites video. Was that yesterday? Yeah, that was yesterday. I still have the empty bottle sitting next to me. I didn't clean up from the um, video. So Ninja Red, I'll talk about this in just a second, but I put a drop of lemon in my Ninja Red sometimes. If I need additional immune system support, I put my Lemon Vitality in my Ninja Red. You guys wanna hear about Ninja Red like right now since I was just talking about it? I'm still kind of squirrely. I need to sniff some more frankincense. Why not? We're gonna talk about Ninja. All right, so this is an empty bottle of Ninja. This is one we went through. Awesome, cool. Uh, we went through this on, uh, let's see. We're like midway through our second bottle. So it was probably like the end of last month. So what Ninja Red is, is a, this 
it looks like a wine glass. <laughs> it's, there's no alcohol or anything in here. Um, Ningxia Red is a dense nutrition drink and it is pureed wolfberry. Um, it also has, let's see, blueberry juice, plum juice, sweet cherry, aronia, um, and pomegranate juice concentrates in here. It also has grapeseed extract, orange peel oil, yuzu, which is like another citrus type of oil, lemon, and tangerine rind in here. And this, um, the Ningxia wolfberry comes from the Ningxia province of China. And the people that live in this province are centurions. They live to be over 100 years old. And they attribute their longevity um, in part to the Ningxia wolfberry. Of course, lifestyle factors totally come into play there. They're very active. You know, they're not like couch potatoes eating junk food. That helps a lot. Um, but the Ningxia wolfberry is something that they highly regard as being like part of their longevity routines. And so Young Living gets the wolfberries from the Ningxia province of China and they make it into a puree. So if you were to see this bottle, um, you would see the bottom part of this about that much is like pulpy kind of. And then the rest of it looks like a fruit juice and that's the Ningxia puree. So you have to shake it up before you use it. Um, and all you take is one ounce, which is a shot glass size. And it has the um, antioxidant equivalent to eating a ton of broccoli and spinach and onions and apples and strawberries, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And most of us do not get that nutrition that we need. Like I can't eat a hundred oranges in a day. I just can't. My belly is not that big. I would if I could, but I can't. Um, so we all are completely nutrient deficient. All of us are. Um, minerals, nutrients, antioxidants, all that. So that's why we incorporate Ninja Red every single day into our routine. And it's literally a shot glass. That's all you take. So this bottle lasts about a month. Um, like we see it in the grocery, right? Or if we would see it somewhere and we'd be like, oh, pouring a big glass of, you know, no, 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 no one ounce. That's it. I literally, cause I don't drink alcohol. I had, and I did a video on this. I had to go to the Goodwill to buy shot glasses cause I didn't have any. <laughs> OMG. And I know the people there were like, why is she buying all these shot glasses? They're judging. Don't judge me. It's from a Ninja Red. <laughs> so anyway, there's that. So I love, love, love Ninja Red. I always incorporate that into my wellness routine. It's just like something that I do. All right. So I want to talk a little bit about essential oil safety just briefly um, because it is an important thing. Essential oils are super duper concentrated and super duper strong. So when using essential oils, start low, start slow. So what I mean by that is start with one drop. Um, if you're using it topically, I highly recommend diluting uh, your essential oil first before you know how your system is going to react to it. Um, and I don't want this to scare you. It's not like the essential oils are going to like do anything bad to you, but you might experience some skin sensitivity if your skin's just not used to it. Oh, thank you, Angie. You're just so nice. <laughs> I love my viewers. They're just amazing people. Um, so if you dilute your essential oil down, it minimizes your risk for having any kind of skin sensitivity. This is something that my husband needs to do. I do not. So everybody is different. Um, for me, I rarely dilute my essential oils. Um, the only time I do is if I am um, wanting to like spread it over a larger area, like I was saying with the pan away, like I will want to get it all over my legs and one drop of oil is not going to spread throughout my entire legs, you know? Not like I have particularly large legs, but it's the, the oil only spreads so far before it like gets absorbed by your skin. Okay. So if you have a carrier oil with you, olive oil, coconut oil, almond oil, any kind of fatty oil that will help to spread it farther, but it won't minimize the effects of the oil. Okay. So it doesn't like it dilutes it, but it doesn't minimize the effect. And yeah, I do think that maybe guys are more sensitive. I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I'm, I don't know. So that's one thing. Second thing, always dilute when you're using on children. This is very important. Children's skin is more permeable than adults. So that means their skin sucks in everything super duper quickly. All right. So you want to dilute when using on children. Um, I don't think there's anything else I need to say about that. There's a really good chart. If you just Google um, essential oil dilution ratio, there's like a Google images chart thing that pops up that'll show like the age or weight of the child and how much essential oil 
two carrier oil you need to use to be safely using oils on kids. So just look that up. I don't have kids, um, but I do dilute, good morning, Gay. Um, I do dilute, um, or I recommend people dilute when they're using on children. If I'm going to be giving an essential oil sample to somebody that I know they're gonna use it on a child, I will make them a roller ball, like a 10 mil roller bottle thing, um, and I'll pre-dilute it for my kids. Um, do you have any info on the kids line? I sure do. So um, the kids line, I'm glad you asked that because I was going to talk about it and then I just squirrel. See, this is what I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, so you see this thing here and it's backwards for me, but not for you. Kid Sense. So Young Living has about five or so, six maybe, oils that are Kid Sense. And these are pre-diluted essential oils. And they have sleepy eyes. I actually use this on myself when I go to bed. You know, it's just a really nice one that has a, a combination of a bunch of stuff. I'll let you know what that is. Um, it has coconut oil in it first, and then it has lavender, geranium, Roman chamomile, which is what I smell most out of this one. Tangerine, let's see, bergamot, sacred frankincense, valerian, and rue. And all of these oils in here are just good for sleepy, sleepiness, sleepy eyes. Sleepy eyes, that's why it's called that. Um, good for all things sleep. So you can use this, because it's pre-diluted, directly on your kids if you want. If they're particularly young, um, I would maybe consider even diluting it a little bit more, like putting a drop in some olive oil or something before you rub it on their feet, if they're very, very, very tiny, 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 tiny kids, um, and just or just let them smell it before they go to bed. They also have owie, which is good for all things uh, bumps in the night. It's nighttime in Indonesia. <laughs> Oh, and oh, I don't know if my voice is soothing, but <laughs> that's questionable. Um, oh, your your comment disappeared. Let me see if I can get that back. I don't know if I can. Mm -hmm. no. Oh, there we go. Um, it's flu okay. Yes. Um, so immune support in um in kids. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, my app is on my phone. I can't get it. See, so this is the thing. So I have um, a good amount of essential oil knowledge up here, but most of my essential oil knowledge comes from my reference guide app. Um, for me, at when I'm teaching my students their music lessons, I will diffuse Thebes. And I Young Living, I, I do believe, is available in Indonesia as far as I know. Um, Thieves is a really good one. There's, um, you know, there's conflicting things about Thieves because there's eucalyptus in here. And so it depends on how old your kids are. Um, my kids that come for my music lessons are older than 10 years old. And so I totally diffuse Thieves anytime they are around me. And that helps to support all things immune system or putting it on the feet. Um, you can, yeah, I highly recommend diluting it. Um, it depends on your comfort level and all that if you want to use an essential oil that has eucalyptus in it on kids. I've heard conflicting things. Um, if you don't, actually lavender is really good for immune support too. I do know that. I've researched that one before. Um, I'm going to have to get back to you. I don't have my reference book with me either because that would be super duper helpful if I did. Um, but I can't look up my app because I'm talking to you guys on my phone. So I'm not much help there. I'm sorry. But for if the kids are like 10 years old and older, I highly recommend Thieves for them. For sure. For sure. Uh, other things with the kid sense oils. Sorry, got distracted. Um, they have owie, like I was saying, which is all things like uh, bumps and bumps. <laughs> if you have kids playing outside in the backyard and they need a little bit of bump support. <laughs> owie, if they have an owie, it goes right where their owie is. Um, they also have sniffles, which is kind of like the kid's version of RC. It's good for all things respiratory system. Uh, they have tummy gize, which is similar to digize. Uh, it smells a lot better than digize though, so it's a little more palatable to kids. You know, kids can use that on their bellies instead of digize, and they, they like that smell a little bit better. Um, there's also, there's a bite one. Uh, yeah, Lydia, I sure can. Um, is there any other ones? Oh, Genius. There's one for focus too. So great for back to school time. I'm using Genius. Genius is really good. I'm getting all of these for free 
I'm very excited about it in um, my next order, my next essential rewards order. All right, so as far as food and drink, uh, Lydia was asking about food and drink. So here in the US, we've got that Vitality line, right? All the white packaging essential oils. I um, actually had Thieves Vitality this morning with my breakfast. So this is the Thieves Vitality. And um, these are the oils that are labeled for dietary consumption. And so with this one, I like to put this in all things baked goods or um, kind of sweeter types of things. So this morning I made an oatmeal that didn't have any grains in it because I don't eat grains because I'm eating paleo. So I mashed up a banana with two eggs, whisked it together, and then I cooked it on the stove over medium heat until the eggs were set, kind of like you're making scrambled eggs a little bit. Um, I put in some collagen in with it too just to help it get a little extra nutrition cooked it like I was making just scrambled eggs. When they were set, I put them in a bowl and I took one drop of Thieves Vitality on my spoon and stirred it in. And it totally, like, I don't exactly, I think it's the cinnamon and the lemon that's in here that just brings it all together. It makes it taste so sweet, even though it's not super sweet, like there's no sugar in here. It just brings all those flavors together. Super good. Really good in pies, cookies, um, any type of fall, like, quick breads or anything like that, I totally recommend Thieves um, Vitality. So that's from a flavoring standpoint. If you're cooking and you're baking something um, in the oven and you put Thieves in before you put it in the oven, that will degrade the um, beneficial immune system supporting properties of the oils, but you'll still get the flavor. So if you're just going for flavor, I recommend that. Um, I make a really good guacamole out of Lemon Vitality. Let me see if I have a lemon vitality. I don't think I do sitting here. Maybe I do. Yeah, I do. I was just looking. Yeah, there we go. Um, so I'll mash up an avocado and I'll put one drop of lemon vitality in there with a pinch of salt. Works good with lime vitality as well. So either one of those, mash it up and you got a great guacamole. My mom makes a good icing out of lemon vitality out of, um, she just uses, I think a little bit of milk, some, um, uh, powdered sugar, and then a drop of lemon vitality as like a glaze for cookies. Delicious, too. Peppermint works good. Um, also as a flavoring for um, peppermint tea. You could do peppermint tea just by taking a toothpick, dip it in the peppermint vitality, and swirl it into a, a, a warm mug. I wouldn't do super duper hot if you want those beneficial digestive properties of the essential oil, but if you don't care, if you're just looking for flavor, go with really hot, that's fine. Um, I made a peppermint patty in the past that was really good too with this, good on anything chocolate, uh, brownies, all of that kind of stuff. Um, Young Living has an entire line of herbs as well. They've got basil oil, they've got thyme vitality, they've got um, celery seed, they have, you name it, if it's an herb or a spice of pretty much any kind, they have a Vitality version of that. So you can add basil to spaghetti sauce um, or any kind of, like if you're making meatloaf or anything like that. Oh, you're welcome, Melissa. I'm glad this was helpful. Um, yeah, I can talk about oils all the time, which is interesting. Um, I didn't used to be this crazy oil person. I, when I first got into essential oils, I actually had a bad experience. Um, I'll tell you. Sure, we're all friends, like I said before. Um, so before I got into, you're welcome, Lydia, you're welcome. Uh, Young Living was a game changer for me. Before I started using Young Living, I used literally every brand of essential oil that you would see at Whole Foods or you'd see at the health food store or Amazon or Walmart or wherever they're at at this point. In 2011, when I was using those, they they weren't everywhere yet. They were in health food stores and I their information had just start, you know, the internet, you'd get some information. And so I was like, okay, essential oils, I'm just gonna do this. So I got a, and I still have these, I use them as props in my like normal classes. They're in the other room. I don't touch them. They're like in a locked drawer. <laughs> I don't open them. Oh, anyway, so I got a peppermint oil from a very popular brand of essential oils that you would find at the health food store. And it was a good size bottle about this big white label. And um, so I got this peppermint and I was like, okay, so it said, um, no, it didn't say. So I was like, okay, so I'm going to use this for my digestion because my digestive system needed some support in the calming down and chilling out arena because this was during the IBS time. And so I got the peppermint oil from the health food store and I put some on my tongue 
and um, you know, it tasted like a candy cane. And I was like, that's kind of weird, but okay, is that normal? I don't know. Is that normal? Maybe. Not sure. Um, I used some for some head tension, as we have to say here in the U.S. My Canadians for headache, right? I use it for headache. And I um, used some more, you know, the next day I had some, you know, I took some internally, whatever. Following day I was sick. The oil made me sick. And I was like, uh oh. So I looked at the packaging and it said, not for internal consumption. Why? What else is in that bottle? Hmm. Hmm. So I was like, okay, maybe I just can't use essential oil. I also got kind of red on my temples and behind my neck too. I had a skin reaction to the peppermint. So then I started reading up on lavender and I was like, oh, lavender is great for sleep. That's great. You know, it's good for, um, you know, I need it again, head tension support in Canada. I needed headache support, right? So I went to the health food store again and I read up on lavender. So I got some lavender, same brand, this big, all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, Em, I would totally will absolutely do recipes with my oils. Thank you for that suggestion. Um, so with the lavender, it, it, I read online, put it on your head, put it on your neck, yada, yada, yada. My headache got worse. I'm speaking in Canadian terms. My head tension got worse. <laughs> now I'm back in the US. I'm like jumping across the border here. We're <laughs> just like playing limbo. And so I was like, well, maybe I just can't use essential oils. So um, I continued on and I got a different brand of essential oils from the health food store. And this time I wanted pine. I still have this pine, OMG, I still have it. I still have it. I use it as a prop. <laughs> I don't use it. I use it as a bottle prop. And um, it said, oh, this is good for all things, you know, cleaning, you know, blah, 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 blah. I am speaking Canadian. I should have like a Canadian flag and then an American flag and like wave them whenever I'm talking about certain things. I think that's a good idea. I should actually do that. Um, so I got the pine. It smelled hor. It didn't smell like a pine tree. It smelled like pine salt. <laughs> It was not like a pine tree. I've been to Banff, right? I'm walking through Banff. I'm like, man, it smells so amazing. This smells like awesome pine, da 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 da. No, this stuff smells like pine salt. Like, what is that? What is in this bottle? Why does it smell like a alcohol? Sorry, get a little, a little testy here. All right. So, flash forward a few years. I gave up on essential oils, and I was like, right, heck with it. I'm done. I don't, I don't care. So I went to my first. Young Living Oils class, a friend of mine who lives here in Central Ohio um, invited me. She had just gotten into essential oils and she was seeing amazing results with them. And I'm like, all right, you know, maybe we should try it again. So my sister and I went, some of you guys in here know my sister. My sister might even still be here. If my sister's here, give me a wave. <laughs> I don't know, she might be watching. Um, and so we went to this um, oils class and we smelled all of Young Living's oils. And I'm like, wow, this peppermint actually smells like peppermint. Oh my gosh, this lemon actually smells like lemon. This pine actually smells like a tree. <laughs> Imagine that, novel concept, right? So turns out all essential oils are not created equally. Hmm. So with essential oils, there is hardly any regulation here in the US about how an essential oil has to be made or labeled, which is terrifying when you think about it. These are labeled as cosmetics and in the cosmetic industry here in the US, there's hardly any regulation at all. Like they can put in some real scary stuff and they don't have to tell you, first of all, and there's stuff that's allowed here in the States that's not allowed in Europe and other places. And why? That makes me angry to begin with. And so with essential oils, there's four different grades, quality grades. They don't label them on the bottle. They don't even have to tell you, but they, they're out there and they do exist. So grade, I'm gonna go backwards. It's like a grading system, like it's school. So grade D, grade D is, we don't want a D in school, right? <laughs> That's not good. Grade D is a floral water. You've heard of rose water and that kind of stuff. Grade D is a leftover byproduct, a leftover trash water of a good essential oil distillation. So grade D has no therapeutic properties. It's just there to smell nice, I guess. Um, that's it. So they pull out all that good essential oil and what's left over is the trash water. Grade C is a um, just a perfume. So it's just like the grade D, it's just gonna smell good. There's not gonna be anything that works with your body to do some really amazing things. It's just perfume and it smells okay and that's it. 
there's nothing else to it. Grade B, so we're going backwards, we're getting a little better, right? Grade B is a manipulated grade, and this is the grade that you'll see at the health food store, you'll see at Amazon, you'll see all these places where it's considered also like a food grade essential oil too, but not like like the Vitality oils, that's not what I'm talking about. It is, like our food, can have pesticides, it can have carriers, it can have fillers, it can have solvents, it can be extracted with um, like a hexane type of solution, not good stuff. And this was the oils that I was using that was making me have these bad reactions, making me sick, yada, yada, yada. Grade A is actual essential oil, like truly, honestly, essential oil. So when you see a bottle of like Young Living Peppermint, all that's in here is the peppermint essential oil. There's nothing else. They don't add anything else to it. The difference with Young Living is that they own their farms, they work with partner farms, and then they have seed to seal certified farms. So all of their suppliers that give them the plant material for them to distill into the essential oil have to be either farms they own or farms they partner with or farms that are seed to seal certified. They have to go through this really rigorous, strict standard certification. And um, you know, rumor has it that the founder of Young Living, Gary Young, who I swear is a saint, I mean, this man is just an amazing human, um, he's difficult to work with because his standards are so high. And so he won't just go work with any type of supplier that's out there. He will only work with either farms that Young Living owns, farms that Young Living partners with, or seed to seal certified farms. So I found out last month, so last month was two months ago now, Young Living accepted, um, well, didn't accept, let me just backtrack. Young Living received a big vat of peppermint, peppermint oil. And it was from a trusted partner farm that Young Living has, peppermint oil. They went through their rigorous testing process, which has eight different tests that they do in triplicate. Oh, good, awesome. The, I'm sorry, I don't have my glasses on. The PO 1983, awesome. Yeah, you totally should. It's been super duper life changing for me. Um, the um, peppermint oil went through their eight different tests. They do it in triplicate, which means three times before the essential oil is bottled. When the essential oil is bottled, they do it again. They do eight different tests, three different times. And if any one of those 48 tests, did I do the math right? Yeah, um, fails, they will reject the oil. So they received the peppermint oil from this trusted supplier, right? And they started their testing process. The peppermint oil tested positive for mercury contamination, which is horrifying. How does that happen? And so Young Living said, uh uh uh, no way, you know, not not gonna do this. So they rejected the peppermint oil, even though that's expensive for Young Living to do because there's a whole lot of stuff that they use peppermint oil in and they had to like kind of halt production because they couldn't accept this peppermint oil, right? So they rejected it, they sent it back to that supplier and the supplier let Young Living know that they were able to sell it to another essential oil company. What, what, what? So, hashtag only use Young Living, y'all. Okay, so that's why I'm off my soapbox now, but that's why I use Young Living essential oils because they will not compromise on their quality at all. It is, yeah, no, totally. It absolutely, like I, yeah, quality of life. That's exactly what it is. It helps to improve your quality of life. My quality of life has improved like leaps and bounds. So has my husband's as well. Yeah, the testing is beyond belief. It really is. There's, I mean, I when we found out about it like last month, about all those different tests that they do, I mean, my mouth was like on the floor. Like I knew that Young Living does rigorous testing. Like I, I, I knew that conceptually, but actually like finding out and learning about all this stuff, I mean, it gave me a completely new respect for Young Living. So thank goodness that that's the company that, I went with because it's been absolutely life-changing. It really, really has. Um, so any questions that I can answer for you guys, <laughs> as long as they're compliant questions. <laughs> they do test independently, you're absolutely right. They test in-house and then they test um, third party too. So yeah, yeah, yeah. There's um, like, there's no, I don't know. How do you uh, don't do the same testing? What's the best for headaches? Mike, I can answer that question too. Um, you know, with other companies, I don't. I don't. 
I don't know what they do. I know that other companies don't own their own farms though. And that's important to me. Um, when Young Living is growing their lavender, I actually saw it happen. I helped plant lavender. And when they planted it in the ground that they owned, like I literally was walking on their own farms, right? I was walking there. I had my little lavender plant. It was super duper cute. Looked like a little rosemary sprig. It was just adorable. And so when you like put that, you're like feeling that land, you know this is land that Young Living owns. They're using only water and essential oils on that land. I mean, no other company owns their own farms. They just can't, they don't have the manpower to do that. So, you know, that's what kind of, to me, sets it apart from all those other companies that are out there. So they've been around for, yeah, Virgin Land, absolutely. Uh, not touched for 10 years. So it's like, it's high quality stuff, high quality stuff. All right, so Mike's saying, what's the best for headaches? So Mike's in Canada, so I can answer this question. Mike, I recommend lavender and peppermint. So lavender is approved as a natural health product in Canada. And um, lavender, I actually use on my thumbs. Where's my lavender here? Yeah. So what I do, I'll just demonstrate for you. So on the fatty part of your thumbs here, and I'm only talking to Canadians right now, so everybody else avert your ears. <laughs> um, I put lavender on um, the base of my thumbs and I rub that together like this, and then I will also put some on my temples and the back of my, my neck. And lavender in Canada is approved as a natural health product to help relieve headaches. Um, so it's just a good one. Um, peppermint is not actually approved in Health Canada, but um, by Health Canada. But what I like to use peppermint for is because it's had a cooling sensation. It feels like an icy hot kind of thing. So I'll actually put peppermint on my temples and the back of my neck um, just for that nice cooling feeling. But putting lavender on the base of your thumbs and getting it on your head, that's what I recommend for that. So, um, okay, let me see. Did I miss anybody? Da, 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 da. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Good, gay. I'm so excited. Yeah, peppermint is approved by me for American head tension. There you go. <laughs> Absolutely. You said to use an app for reference. Oh yeah, so the app that I use is the Ref Guide, um, R-E-F Guide 4 EO, and that is published by Abundant Health. And it is $6.99 in the app store in, the, in America. In Canada, I think it's like $9, something like that, exchange rate, something. <laughs> but it is available for both, I believe, Android and iPhone. So you're welcome. Yeah, yeah. Um, that app's a lifesaver. I mean, when it's 4 a.m. and you need something, you need some help, that app is just a really good thing to do your own research with. I love it. A friend gave us an essential oil PDR years ago. I don't know what a PDR is. Um, I'm going to go back into it. He used Young Living exclusively as well. Awesome. How do you use ginger? Yeah, ginger is good for all things digestion. Um, physician's desk reference. Oh, thanks. That's like, I didn't know that. Um, so ginger is good for all things digestion. I actually have ginger in the other room. Um, you can use it topically on your belly. It's a hot oil, so um, I would probably dilute it before you put it on your belly. It's also good for all things um, motion support. Um, like if you're riding the teacups or something at Disney World, um, you can put the uh, ginger around your ears and it's good for motion support. Motion and tummy. Um, I have ginger vitality too. You can add that to baked goods if you want to do that. Make a little gingerbread or ginger cookies or anything like that. Um, I actually like to diffuse ginger during the fall with some orange and clove. I think that smells really good together as a good combination. Um, you can, if you want to take ginger internally from a digestive support standpoint, I don't recommend just like taking it because it's not like crystallized ginger or anything like that. Um, can't answer that question. It's good for all things motion support. Motion support. There we go. <laughs> That's what I can say. Um, so, but if you want to take it internally, I would recommend doing it in a veggie capsule with some olive oil or um, coconut oil, just because it doesn't taste great. It's super strong. Yeah, you're welcome, Diane. You're welcome. Yeah, Domestic Life 101. I know it's hard because, um, like, I feel like sometimes we have to speak in code. But the thing is, with essential oils, they're there to help support healthy body systems. I mean, that's the whole point of them. 
So they are there to help your body do what it needs to do. So your body knows what it needs to do and the essential oils help your body do what it needs to do, if that makes sense. So they're different than like pharmaceuticals that artificially help or don't <laughs> um, do something, you know, essential oils are natural products, so they help your body do what your body's designed to do. I hope that makes sense. I don't know. Any other questions that I can answer for you guys? Do you like this format? I don't know. Like I normally do these on you or on Facebook. Um, do you use any of the Young Living supplements? I do. Oh my gosh. Yes, I do. All right. So for those of you guys who are not Young Living essential oil people, um, Young Living is like a complete comprehensive wellness brand. Oh, good. Okay, awesome. Um, and so they have supplements, they have protein powders, they have personal care products, um, makeup. Like everything you see on my face right now is Young Living non-toxic makeup from the Savvy Minerals line. It's amazing. I love it. Um, they've got cleaners. I've talked about Thieves Cleaner a lot, a lot, a lot. So if you take seriously, all right, so I'll let me, I'll, let me get back to supplements for a second. Um, I'll get there in a minute. So the Thieves Cleaner, do I have any by me? I don't. I did. I used to have a bottle in here, but I don't know what I did with it. It's a concentrate and it is, bye Gay, thanks for watching. Um, the cleaner is a cleaner concentrate and so it works out to being super inexpensive, like silly inexpensive. Um, the Thieves Cleaner comes in about a 14 ounce bottle and you use a capful of it or two if you want it super concentrated in a big like 26 ounce spray bottle from the Dollar Tree. You pour that in there and you fill the rest up with water and it's about $1.50 a bottle if you're in the US um, to for a cleaner. Like it is just amazing. If you're in Canada, exchange rate, it's a little more, it's like a dollar, a loony, 75 <laughs> never, I don't know <laughs> whatever that is um, and it just I mean you can't get a cleaner like that from the grocery store it doesn't smell like vinegar it has the thieves essential oil blend in it too and so the um, it supports your immune system at the same time that you're cleaning so it kills two birds with one stone like I will clean my floors with the thieves cleaner and as it's drying I'll walk on it <laughs> with my bare feet <laughs> just to get that oil in me um, so yeah so there's that it doesn't smell like vinegar which is amazing so it's I mean vinegar and water is cheap but it smells like pickles like why do you want your house smelling like pickles you don't you know so that's why I use a thieves cleaner even if you just get a retail bottle of thieves cleaner in the US is 28 bucks and it's about a dollar 75 when you um, dilute it down so it's totally 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 worth it let me see can I comment here I don't think I can um, I mean hang on no I can't okay shoot I have a, a link for you guys to use if you guys are interested in getting any of these things. Um, I have a way for you to get them and I can't show you. So I'll show you when um, the class is over. I'll have the link in the comments. Um, yeah, the class will stick around. So anyway, yes, makeup is absolutely amazing. It's so good. Um, all right, so let's talk about the supplements here real quick. So the supplements that I use from Young Living, um, I actually use the Life9 Probiotic. Uh, works really good. It's gentle. It's a gentle probiotic on my system. I've had probiotics in the past. I used to use the soil-based organisms, the SBOs, um, from Physician Assist. And I think that was, oh no, Prescript Assist, I'm sorry. And that was too harsh on my system. My system was just like, what is all these bacteria in your gut? What are you doing? Um, so I switched to using the Life9 and it is gentle enough. It's got nine strains of bacteria, which is what you want to look for. When you're looking for a probiotic, you want it to have a lot of bacteria in it. Um, and so nine strains is a lot, but the total billions doesn't have to be super high. If it's too high, it's going to be kind of strong on your system. So there's that. Um, Young Living is absolutely available internationally. Yeah, we're in Hong Kong, Malaysia, Australia, Canada, Europe, uh, US, most places. Yeah, most places. Um, they There are like five or six different headquarters, maybe more than that, around the world. So yeah, total international. Um, besides Life9, I use um, Essential Zymes 4, which is my digestive enzyme of choice. And that works great 
for me. It helps my food digest. And I don't feel like after I eat a meal, I'm like super duper full. Um, there have been times where I feel like my food just kind of sits there. Um, I've had that happen over the years, but not since using essential times four. Um, if I'm eating a meal that is easier for me to digest, like if it's sardines and like a salad or something, something that my system, it's not super starchy. It doesn't feel like it's just going to weigh you down like red meat and plantains or whatever, um, I'll use detox zyme. That's a little um, less high powered of a um, digestive enzyme, but it still helps your food digest. Um, so detox zyme for easy to digest meals, essential zymes for, for heavier meals, red meat and starchy kind of things. Um, besides that, Ningxia Red, I consider a supplement because you only use a shot glass size amount. And so I do that for um, like nutrition overload. Um, let's see other supplements that I take. That's pretty much it from a regular supplement standpoint. Um, yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, let me see. Da, 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 da. I, sorry, there was another. Okay. Oh, good. Yeah. A lot of people don't have Facebook. So yeah, I figured this would be helpful for you guys. Okay. Da, 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 da. To use effective essential oils, would you also recommend learning pressure points or Reiki? Yes. Yes, you are using the right term, M. Absolutely. Um, I use acupressure a lot in our house. Um, you'll see. <laughs> my poor husband, he's like my guinea pig. Um, I on in the app, the one that I talked about, the ref guide for EO app, there is a what's called Vita Flex chart and it's like a reflexology chart for feet and hands and so you can see where all the different systems uh, correlate right with your feet and so um, with my husband um, he needed support in a with his teeth <laughs> <laughs> so I found the reflex point on his feet and I used tooth supporting essential oils on his feet. And so I'm like sitting there working them out and, you know, things you do, <laughs> things you got to do. But yeah, absolutely. It's totally really, really good. Um, with Reiki too, absolutely. I am a, I'm a Reiki level one. That's something y'all don't know. Um, and so yes, essential oils and Reiki go hand in hand, hand in hand for sure. Okay, makeup, yes. So the red burning fires, yes. The makeup is called Savvy Minerals and it has no talc, no bismuth, no parabens, not tested on animals. There's no yuck in it, non, they're non-nanoparticles too. So I used to use a very well-known mineral makeup that I would get from Ulta um, that had bismuth in it. And I, my face would break out and I didn't know why. I thought my brushes were just dirty. Like I didn't know. Mm. Turns out bismuth can cause your face to break out. Ha. So since switching to Savvy Minerals, um, it is totally, yeah, we're gluten free too and you can use it. They are gluten free. Um, all of the products are, the makeup products are gluten free. Yes, 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 yes. Bismuth was bad news bears, man. I did not, like, I didn't even know it was, like, a thing. I didn't know nanoparticles was a thing. Like, all these things that I'm putting on my skin, I thought I was doing a good job. I was doing better than using, like, insert other company names here. But, I mean, it was, yeah, it was definitely total switch for sure. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, my... Let's see, my household's gluten-free, my sister's household is gluten-free as well. And so, um, it, yeah, there are some products that Young Living has that um, are not gluten-free, it's not a completely gluten-free company, um, but it's not a lot. Like the essential oils are all gluten-free, the makeup's gluten-free, and there are some um, personal care products uh, that are gluten-free too, or at least there's no gluten in it. Um, there's a lot of celiacs uh, that use Young Living, a whole lot, a whole lot. Um, let me see. Yeah, the makeup's awesome. I love it. Will the video stick around when the live session ends? Um, sure. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Yep, Red Burning Fires, I will totally give you the link. Uh, yes, available internationally. Hashtag wife life. Yeah. <laughs> True story. I'm like giving my husband reflexology. Uh, da, 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 da. okay. Is acupressure the same thing as suture? I don't know. I don't know what that is. Um, acupressure basically is like there's a map 
of wear on your hand or on your feet that cor correlates with different parts, different systems of your body. And so by massaging those points, it can help release the energy blockages or all that kind of stuff um, with different parts of your body. So I don't know if that's the same. It might be. I would look it up, but I can't. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, it's the same. Okay, good. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Oils work really, really good um, with that. And a lot of times, like when they recommend putting um, essential oils on your feet, I mean, you're going to get it on those pressure points. So if when in doubt, put oils on your feet <laughs> and rub them together like a little grasshopper. Um, let me see. How long have you been a Young Living rep? It sounds interesting. Um, so I've been a Young Living user since 2014. 13, 14, one of those two, 2013, 2014, somewhere in there. Um, I didn't start actively talking about essential oils, which is super selfish of me, and I don't know why I didn't do it earlier, um, until about, I don't know, maybe 2015, 2016. I started getting such good results with the essential oils, I couldn't keep my mouth shut about it now. Like, I didn't start using Young Living with the thought of doing it as a business. Like, that wasn't anywhere, anywhere on the horizon. Because, like, to me, I felt like I had a hard time initially, which is so silly. Looking back at it, it's so silly. Um, getting into Young Living because I had a tainted view of what an MLM is. Like, I thought that was Avon, Mary Kay, Tupperware, yada, yada, la, 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 like all these things. And I was like, nope, nope, I am just going to get the oils. I only want the discount. I am not saying anything because people are going to think I am that person and I don't want to be that person. And so it took me a long time to actually get my starter kit, get my account with Young Living, which is so silly. So to be frank with you, 94% of people who get a wholesale membership with Young Living never do anything with it. Like they'll tell their friends about it. Maybe their friend will get a kit, but they just get the wholesale membership for the discount. And that's how I was for two years probably or so. Once I started having such good results with these, I wanted to help people too. And so then I started talking about it and that's, that's, you know, where the business side comes in. Um, and at this point, I have made better friends through Young Living. And like almost everybody that's in my oil family, as we call it, um, is from YouTube. <laughs> they started out as YouTube subscribers. I would say maybe like 90%. The other 10% is close friends and family that are in my oil family. Um, and everybody's lives have been changed by them. I mean, it's just been completely ridiculous, like ridiculous. The, I don't know. And these people are such good humans that we have in our oil family. Like they are just, they're all over the world. I have oil family members from Canada, Ireland, Australia, Spain, um, UK. Well, Ireland is in UK, but England. Um, and like, it, it's just, I don't know. I've made such good friends um, with my oil family members. They all started out as watching me on YouTube and now we're all like BFFs. So <laughs> I don't know. Did that answer your question? I don't know. I guess it did. Um, I would talk about Young Living even if there was no business side of Young Living. So that's why I talk about it. It's because I would do it anyway. <laughs> so, and I did. Like when I started getting these good results, I started just sharing about it. So yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Any other questions that I can answer for you guys? I mean, don't think of Young Living as a typical MLM pyramid scheme, you know, oh my gosh, it's not that at all. It's not that at all. You can get, all right, so I'll tell you about the product. So you can get a wholesale membership. Um, that's what I recommend. You can buy retail as well if you don't want to get the discount. So being a retail customer is a good option um, because you're getting the good products in your house. Ooh, Gail, yes, I'll get into that in a second because um, I got a lot of it. <laughs> um, being a retail customer is good. You get good products. Um, being a wholesale member is better because you get a discount. You get 24% off of your products for life. Plus you have the ability to get really steeply discounted starter kits. So the starter kits that are available are you get, um, there's an 11 oils and a diffuser kit. You get the diffuser for free with your 11 oils. Um, the oils that I talked about, mm, not, yeah, almost all of them are in that. 
um, kit. It's They call it the Everyday Oils Kit, so it's stuff you would use every single day. Uh, they also have a home product kit that has the Thieves cleaners, it has two of those, it has a couple of hand soaps, um, all Thieves infused home care products plus a Thieves oil. And um, that's a fantastic deal too. If you're more interested in just getting the yucky, toxic cleaning chemicals out of your house, that's a great way to go. Um, they also have a Ninja Red kit. So if you're more interested in the nutrition side of things and you wanna try the Ninja Red out, they've got those. So all those kits are discounted 50%. For wholesale members which is really good oh yes i'll get into that too uh veda is that how you say your name veda um so that's good there's also you can get the membership and then just add any kind of products on it so just like the membership without the starter kit you just get a membership and then you can add if you want to get the makeup at 24 percent off you add that to your cart if you want to get a thieves cleaner and like a lavender and a peppermint you can do that you know you can kind of just customize whatever you want and by getting your membership you get the 24 percent discount which is a really good 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 thing so that's a better option the best option is by becoming also an essential rewards member at the same time because it's going to save you even more money so what essential rewards is it's completely optional it is a monthly subscription box kind of um service that young living offers where you get to pick the products that you get in your box each month that they send to you and you change it out month to month really really good and um you get paid back in essential reward points so if any of you guys are in the US, they're kind of like Kohl's cash. If you're in Canada, I've heard the term PC points, if that makes sense to any of you guys there. I don't know what that is. Um, and uh, it's just basically like a cash back thing that you get to spend towards free products. So that makes complete sense if you're wanting to just start to gradually incorporate Young Living products into your house rather than throwing the whole baby out with the bathwater and just like making a huge order at one time. It kind of spreads out that spending. So it just makes complete sense. I've been on Essential Rewards forever. You guys have probably seen me do Essential Rewards unboxings on my YouTube channel. I'll be doing that again. I think my order's coming Tuesday, so next week. I'll be doing an ER order unboxing. Um, so yeah, so that's the different ways of getting um, into, into, not into, getting a wholesale account or retail account with Young Living. Um, okay, so I missed a couple questions here. Let me see. Uh, da, 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 da. Vida. Oh, I love that. That's awesome. All right. So um, what oils do you use? Okay. So for occasional anxiety, what I do is um, there's actually a few oils that I use. I use lavender. Lavender I talked about before as an adaptogen. So it'll help you adapt to your stressful situation. So it's not stressful anymore. Um, that's a really good one to use. Just topically, I just get it on me or I smell it from the bottle. It doesn't matter. I just get it anywhere, or get it on you. Um, I also like to use vetiver. A vetiver is a very thick oil and it's from the root of, I guess it's a, a bush, I think. I don't know. I don't know exactly where it comes from. It's very thick. Um, and that's a very grounding kind of um, essential oil with the different grounding constituents in there. And so with that, I'll put some on the bottom of my feet um, or the base of my spine. I just feel like those are my two places where I need to be rooted if I'm feeling anxious and like out of my head a little bit, you know, if you have like your thoughts that just kind of like circle, 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 and you just can't bring yourself back to that present moment, vetiver is, is great for that. So lavender, vetiver, and then also if I need to help with focus, either smelling frankincense or peppermint. Frankincense is just good for focus and peppermint is just so blooming strong that it will just snap you out of those circular thought patterns whether you like it or not. Um, it'll just bring you back to that present time, that present moment. Um, okay, so for weight support, yes. So grapefruit actually is a great essential oil for weight support. Um, Young Living actually has a whole weight loss line. It's called the Sleek line, and I'm actually getting a Sleek tea that I'm very, very excited about in the mail very soon. It has like cacao in it and oolong tea maybe i don't know there's stevia and like a couple other things there's frankincense resin powder in it and that's supposed to be good for curbing appetite um i tend to depending on the time of the month where i'm at i get a little munchy and so sometimes i just i need to just not eat 
everything in the house. And so I got this to kind of curb that munchy type of craving. So I'm gonna be getting that soon and I'll, I'll do a video on that um, if you guys are interested in hearing about the Sleek Tea. Um, but they also have Sleek Essence, which is an essential oil blend that has a bunch of citrus oils in it, uh, plus stevia, and then you drink that down in some water. And that's good to curb appetite. Um, they also have a Sleek Shake. Um, I haven't, I don't have any experience with that, but a lot of weight, you know, management success I've seen online with that. Um, but as far as like specific essential oils go for weight support, grapefruit is uh, a really good one. Grapefruit Vitality, take it in a glass of water, drink it down. Um, good for weight support. And any of the citrus ones actually, and peppermint too, if you just smell them, are good for helping to curb appetite too, if you just smell those. There we go. Yeah, any other questions that I can answer for you guys today? Let's see if I missed anything. I don't think I did. I think I'm good. Anything, anyone? Anything, anyone? I'm happy to answer anything that's compliant. <laughs> oh, I feel tied sometimes. That's okay. That's okay. These statements have not been evaluated by the FDA and are for educational purposes only. <laughs> Just a little disclaimer there. So you guys have that. So blood sugar support, Gail, um, blood sugar, there's two, well, there's three. Um, OCOT, it's O-C-O-T-E-A, is good for blood sugar support, as is cinnamon bark. So um, thieves would be good for uh, blood sugar. Good for blood sugar support there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, diet, of course, is always a good thing for blood sugar as well, as you know, right? As everybody knows, <laughs> gotta have good diet and everything. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, Vita V, um, the Sleek line has been around for a while, um, but I don't have any experience with it. I mean, for me, from a weight standpoint, I lost about 15-ish pounds by eating paleo. And so that's where my weight support came from. I didn't use essential oils um, from a weight support standpoint. So I don't have a whole lot of experience in that. Um, I love wood smells. What would be a good blend for room sprays? Oh, um, Palo Santo would be good. I would do, if you like woody kind of things, it depends on if you like, um, like pine smells too. I really like Idaho balsam fir. I like Northern Lights black spruce, and those are very piney. Palo Santo is very woody, as is Copaiba. So a good combination, I would think, would be Palo Santo, Copaiba, and then one of the pine smells. Um, yeah, I like that too, by the way. Thyroid support, yeah, thyroid support. Um, Endoflex, that's a blend of, um, Nutmeg, it has spearmint in it. Uh, I can't remember a whole bunch of other things. Um, that's a really good thyroid supporter. Also for thyroid support, uh, do some research on fluoride and iodine. <laughs> that's about all I could say with that, but Endoflex is good for thyroid support. Um, oh yes, Denise, awesome. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's like totally life-changing. I don't know. Young living is life changing. It really is. It's been a, an amazing, like just even going to the lavender farm in Mona, Utah was just such a cool experience. Like I planted lavender. It'll be distilled in three and a half years. <laughs> it's gonna take a long time, but it was just so cool. And I actually met a subscriber while I was out there too, which was also super duper awesome. I'm so glad you came up and said hi. So yeah, just fun. It's fun. You make such good friends with uh, with Young Living. Everybody, you you kind of by default become a crazy oil person um, after you see that they actually work and then you're like, what? <laughs> and then you just become obsessed and it's all over from there. It's all over from there. Y'all be a super obsessed bunch, just like I am. You'll be equally as crazy. It's good times. All right, guys, well, if there's no other questions, I've been yapping at you for almost 90 minutes now. Oh my gosh, sorry taking up your Saturday. So go enjoy the rest of your Saturday. I'm going to go enjoy mine. It's super duper nice outside. We're going to go for a walk in some trees. 
and be the hippie earthy people that we are. You're welcome. I will have the link um, if you guys are interested in this. As soon as this, I don't know, I'm going to hit finish and then I'm going to put it in the uh, description box of the video. <laughs> so if you're interested in getting Young Living, I highly recommend going the member route just so you get to save uh, money, save 24%. It's totally worth it. And it's not a crazy MLM like all those others out there because I don't do that. <laughs> so um, that link will go up in the description as soon as I can figure out how to do that. So all right, guys, well, I hope you have a great rest of your Saturday. Take care. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me today. And I'll see you all very soon. Should I do my ending? You want it? Happy oiling. <laughs> see you all tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. Thanks for watching.